Hello friends, what's up? Welcome in the world of Maths by Amin. In this learning concept video, we try to learn few concepts and apply those concepts in the question. The question is in front of you. Please note down all the data. Then we proceed towards the concept and solve this question. The question is, I hope you note down all the data. This is all about some of few integers. The word is few and the second one is positive. Here the question is sum of few positive integers. The question is sum, few and positive and integer. So we need to work on the integers which are positive and we have few. Means we do not know how many integers and we are looking for the summation. In this type of question either we can apply AM is greater than GM or the causes. But for these two we should know how many integers we have, how many numbers do we have. Here we do not know how many numbers we have. We have few numbers and we are looking for the product. So the first concept we should know is nothing but x raised to power 1 by x will give maximum when the value of x is e approx 2.71. To know more about this concept, please watch the concept video. The link is given in the description of this video. Okay. So our first concept is x raised to power 1 by x is maximum when x is e 2.71 or the value of x raised to power 1 by x would be more if the value is near to 2.71. So we can say e raised to power 1 by e would give maximum. If we talk about the integer 2.71 is in between 3 and 2 but nearer to 3. So for the integral value 3 raised to power 1 by 3 is nothing but the maximum for the integer otherwise this one is the maximum. If we talk about the integer, the maximum is 3 raised to power 1 by 3 because it is nearer to e. The second maximum is 2 raised to power 1 by 2 is the second maximum. What would be the third maximum? So if this one is the first maximum, if we plot 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, something like this. In the number line, e is somewhere this. The first maximum is 3. 3 raised to power 1 by 3 is the first maximum or the greatest value. Second is 2 raised to power 1 by 2. I hope it is clear. Now you think the third would be 4. No. 4 raised to power 1 by 4 and 2 raised to power 1 by 2 both are the same. So either we consider 2 raised to power 1 by 2 or 4 raised to power 1 by 4. We have same values. So this is the first that is the greatest maximum. This is the second greatest maximum. Either 2 raised to power 1 by 2 or 4 raised to power 1 by 4. Third maximum cannot be 1. 1 raised to power 1 by 1 is nothing but 1, but n raised to power 1 by n, when the n is greater than 1, is always greater than 1. So if you take any value, any integer, raised to power 1 by integer is always greater than 1, so this will give the least. 1 raised to power 1 by 1 give the least if we are working on x raised to power 1 by x for the positive integers. I hope it is clear. So this is our greatest, this is our second greatest or the second maximum numbers. Third is nothing but 5 raised to power 1 by 5. Fourth one is nothing but 6 raised to power 1 by 6. We do not need to know which one is maximum, second maximum and third maximum. But you should know two things. The maximum is 3 raised to power 1 by 3. Second maximum is 2 raised to power 1 by 2. And the 4 raised to power 1 by 4 is equal to 2 raised to power 1 by 2. I hope it is clear. So, we learned only one thing. If we want x raised to power 1 by x as a positive integer and looking for maximum, we should take 3 raised to power 1 by 3 or we are looking for another value, we should take 2 raised to power 1 by 2. So, if we have only two options for the x raised to power 1 by x, either we should take 3 or we should take 2. There is no need to take other values like 5, 6. If we take 5 or 6 or 7, we are decreasing x raised to power 1 by x. I hope it is clear. So, this is our first concept. Now check what is the second concept. The second concept is if we have a number which is nothing but the summation of few integers then what would be the product maximum. See summation of few integers is nothing but 120. Summation of few integers is nothing but 120 then what would be maximum product of these integers. Can you say the first case we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 dot dot 1 is nothing but 120 so we have 1 how many times? 120 times. We can say the product of these 1, 120 times is nothing but 1 into 1 into 1. That is how many times? 120 times. So it is nothing but 1 raised to power 120 which further gives 1. I hope this is clear. So 
So we can either work on 1 or cancel. 2, 2, 2. Summation of Q2 is nothing but 120. That means have 62s, which is nothing but summation total is 120. And the product of these such 62s is nothing but 2 raised to power 60. Similarly, if we work on 3, that is 120. So we can say if we are working on a 3, we have 43. And the product of these 43 is nothing but 3 raised to the power 40. Similarly, if you work on a 4 and work on a summation and we are looking for 120, so we have 34s and the product of these 34s is 4 raised to the power 30. Similarly, if you work on a 5, we have 24 5s. So the product of these 5 are nothing but 5 raised to the power 24. Now we have to check among these options, which one is the maximum because we are looking for the product maximum. Or you can choose one or make a combination of two. Work on a three, work on a four, work on a five. Take few threes, few fours, few fives. We'll check this later on. First, we are working if we are working on an individual integers. Now apply the concept. Rearrange the numbers. Can we say one raised to power one twenty is one raised to power one by one raised to power one twenty? I hope this is perfectly fine. For the two, we can write 2 raised to power 1 by 2 raised to power 1 by 2, 120. I go for the 3, it is nothing but 3 raised to power 1 by 3 raised to power 120. 4 becomes 4 raised to power 1 by 4 raised to power 120. 5 becomes 5 raised to power 1 by 5 and raised to power 120. We can rewrite 2 raised to power 60 as like this. And we know if we have same powers and the bracket is positive, then more the base more the number. And here the 1 raised to the power 1 by 1, 2 raised to the power 2 by 2, 3 raised to the power 3 by 3, 4 raised to the power 4 by 4, 5 raised to the power 5 by 5. The maximum is 3 raised to the power 1 by 3. So the maximum is 3 raised to the power 1 by 3 raised to the power 120. So this is our maximum product. Why 3 raised to the power 1 by 3? Because we know x raised to the power 1 by x give maximum as the integral value when the x is equal to 3. This is a maximum. This is the second maximum. This is also the second maximum. This is the third maximum and this is the least number. So if we want to make summation of few integers, we have to work on 3 because we can write this is 3 raised to the power 1 by 3. I hope it's clear. So if we want to make product maximum, we have to work on 3. Now our question is, our summation is 61 and we want maximum product. Then we want remainder. Our summation is 61. For the 61, and we have few integers, so we want summation of few integers 61, and product should be nothing but maximum. If we want product maximum, so we can only use 3, 3, 3. If we use 3, 3, 3, how many times? 20 times. Then extra is what? 1. 20 times 3 and extra is 1 gives 61, but the product of these would be maximum? No. The maximum only occurs when x is equal to 3 or the second option we have x should be 2. Here the first option x is 3 is fully satisfied but the second option is 1. 1 would give the least value. So we are not working on this one. So for making summation constant and product maximum we have only two options. Either work on a single threes, complete threes or work on a 2. So we can say instead of working on 20. Can we say 3, 3, 3, how many times? 19 times. This is nothing but 37. And we have 4 left. 4 left is nothing but 2 plus 2. And we have, what is this? This is nothing but 3 raised to power 19 and 2 raised to power square. And believe me, for the integral value, this would be the maximum product. Because we can write 3 raised to power 57 and 1 by 3. For the 3 raised to the power 19 and for this we have 2 raised to the power 4 and 1 by 2. And 3 raised to the power 1 by 3 and 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 would give always a maximum value if it is possible. What? Why I am saying it is possible? If we can only work on 3, work on 3, that would give the maximum. But you cannot work on only 3. For example, here the 61, we cannot work on only 3. Then we have to work on combination of 3 and 2. And we want 3 should give the maximum. So the number of 3 should be the maximum. We can work till 20 if we have 3 but extra is 1. 1 is big no. Because 1 raised to power 1 gives the least value. 
So instead of working on 20, we work till 19 threes. Three should be maximum, so we work for the 19 three. The product of 19 threes are nothing but three raised for 19 into two is squared. So these are product maximum, but our question is we need to find when this divided by seven. When this divided by seven by the help of psychistry, we can solve the answer is nothing but five. How five? That is the learning in another concept video. I hope it's clear. So the learning of this concept video is x raised to power x would give maximum when x is equal to 3 or would give second maximum when x is equal to 2. I hope it's clear. On this concept, generally competitive examination asks two types of questions. First is this type of question where you have summation constant and asking for product maximum. We apply 3 and 2, all 3 possible or the 2 possible. Or if we have product constant and summation minimum, both for the same. And again repeating, summation constant, product maximum, word is Q, word is positive, what is integer. Then we can apply this concept. Or product constant, summation minimum. Again the condition is positive, integral and summation. Or product. I hope this is clear. Even if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on this YouTube video thread or on Facebook. Thank you and happy night.